I think they're just going to have to give up one of these tier 2 towers. They're actually going at Nico maybe a bit here. Wow, they RP'd. Oh, oh. They're going to find him. Close. Oh, no. no. Oh, my gosh. He was like 1 HP. Now he drops the Chrono the other way. DP does get off the Spirit Siphon. I don't know if they'll be able to find any counter kills here. Charlie with the TP. Wow, that was greedy. Now Swap coming in. They're going to find Crit as well. Another swap. Saber Light loses his TP. They're going to get three out of this. The Chrono helps set it up. The Void not only lives, but they turn it back to kill three the other way. Alliance making some incredible plays after the ambitious reverse polarity. Midas into SNY on the Void. Oh, here we go. Supreme initiated on the target of choice. Will-O-Wisp comes down, RP onto two. It's a pretty good setup. The Laguna Blade, can they actually find these kills though? Ignis almost done. S4 does go down alongside Hanskin, but now Limp charging into the back line. NIP low on cooldowns. Saber Light maybe gets left behind. He'll be the first to fall on no! NIP. Now Chrono on two, does clip that Ember. Era should go down. He does Supreme trying to make it to the high ground. How far do they go? Nico Baby rooted up. They will back and try to finish off this tier two. Why it's did they stay low ground? Worst case, that happens. Yeah, at least it was only one more hero. They didn't like lose two or something. That wasn't too big of a deal. Swap trying to buy himself some time. Oh, yeah, he he's a courier. That courier. Yo, that was a five versus one. That was sick. <laughs> and he still found a win. That was pretty badass. <laughs> Middle tower is under attack. Unskin gamers. The glove, baby. Give him the glove. S4. Now he's going to get caught. It's a one on four scenario. He lives. Oh, the soul rip. He even gets Laguna and still survives. Meanwhile, Era dies off to the side to limp. And Charlie, Charlie no. in a little bit too deep. No target to jump to. Takes a bash and he's down. Here we go. Smoke up. Alliance looking for something here. Chrono available. Catches two. Blinding Light, though, it's there. No MKB yet. They'll still get the kill on the Crypt, but they pay for it with Hanskin. Saber Light silenced up, destroyed by the Chakram. Two for one. Another fight favoring Alliance. Eon Disc queued up. He, he is ready to respect the potential burst damage of NIP, even 15k net worth behind. Here comes the initiation. FNG does get dropped. BKB by the PA gets bashed. Just right click down. Ignis almost saves her, and it does. RP from Saberlight, but they need a little bit more. There's just no follow up damage. Crit goes down. Charlie up on the high ground. Will go, baby. Saberlight. TP not going to happen. Atos is there. No buybacks available on the two dead heroes of the Dire. Nico low. Time walk forward. Once Charlie might find oh, the it. Aegis is going to expire. Duels, they get one more. They found her, the Coddle, and it's going to be a clean sweep. That's five dead for just a position five undying. Only one barracks taken. Um, NIP do come back. They'll smoke. Checking for Roche. Ooh, nice positioning from FNG. They jump on the S4. Not the target that they want, though. They do stop the Timber Chain. Support inbound, though. Alliance is here. They'll catch Era. Oh, that's a bad Willow as well. Now he can just Chrono up on the high ground. I think it's two. Still, it's a decent Chrono. Does catch the Magnus. Crit dies off to the side. It's going to be three down on NIP. He now, only gets two. That's how you know they're winning really hard. <laughs> yep. And now Supreme on the retreat. He's going to try to Remnant out, but Hanskin was ready and waiting at the low ground. I think that's the best answer you could have come up with there. Oh, the Observer if comes down. If it was down. 17, it would be for memes. Yeah, there you go. PA jumps in. Ooh, BK. Oh, the Halvard, though. Disarmed, swapped back. It's a decent Ignis, but Charlie still just trying to live. Another Phantom Strike back. Not the way you want that nine second BKB to go. Now the Chrono comes down. PA dead. Saber Light also in trouble. GG's called. That'll do it. 33 to 8. Now this Alliance. looks like some NA Dota. <laughs> Yeah, this was one of those never really a moment when it looked like NIP had it or even really had a, a big window and by the pit. I'll take that. Leading with Charlie. Oh, there's their hero. They can kill Nico here. This would be huge. She's going to go into this big stack. Perfect timing. Gets off the ult, though. The dunk. I mean, got it. that could not have gone any better. <laughs> yep, they cleared out the stack, too. That was pretty perfect. And now the punishment. Crit. He's going to be in trouble, and they've got the setup on the era. Crit will fall first. 
Now the turn onto the other support. And, okay. Could have gone a little better. You could do a uh, halberd, you disassemble for the... Uh, uh, for the Ogre Act, and then back into like an Orchid or something. <laughs> oh wow, that's efficient. Well, get real crazy. Limp. They don't need crazy, they stun. need his kill is what they need. And they got him. And they get him. Very nice. Prophet coming in, looking for more. S4 maybe low, but now Nico Baby's here. Fisher breaks things up a little bit. Nico Baby in pretty deep. Very much committed to this kill. Does have the ulti, drops it and gets the reset. Shaker already used the dunk. Supreme also in trouble. This Magnetize doing a lot of work. And NIP getting close to cleaned up here. Charlie isolated now. Not going to be able to find these kills. Inkswell not going to do it for him either. It's a one for four, soon to be five. Era, Unzo. Yeah, we're getting into uh, Hail Mary type territory here. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was good that Crit also didn't use the dunk on the two heroes. Like, because they he knew they were going to get the one kill and the dunk was kind of pointless and he has Blink that he wants to flex it with. Like right RP? now. Big RP. This could be the beginning of a turn. FNG, Hanskin both dead. The follow up dunk. They get Nico. Crit does end up going down. S4 here by himself without Nolt. He minus the small bird in a panic. He's also somewhat mobile. It is weird that they have zero auras, though. The only aura they have is Veil. So I guess they, they have one aura, but it's basically just passing. Here we go, set up in the top lane. Slark getting low, it looks pretty good for NIP, but they can't finish him off. Crit, on the other hand, he might be the target that goes down, and now the turn onto Ricky. Nico Baby still healthy, and it's gonna be NIP that lose two. Maybe far enough back that this isn't gonna be the easiest gank. They're gonna have to commit pretty deep into the jungle. Although Nico oh, Baby, he's oh, he's gonna walk up. Uh-oh, he walks right into the danger zone. See you later, Nico, baby. God, Crit is like stone cold, man. How do you not dunk there? I would just be so scared that he's going to somehow get out. <laughs> Saber Light has the BKB. Going to show it off here. Come on and slam. This could be a bad fight for Alliance. They'll drop the RP to get one. Now the dunk on the other side connects on two. Follow up Soulbind. Alliance in big trouble. S4 limp in deep. Buybacks coming though. Alliance now have five back on the board. They turn on to the Ricky. So far, these buybacks worth it. Let's see if they can get more. Supreme in big trouble. He's going to fall next. They do get two big core kills. Still very much in poverty mode. He's about on par net worth wise with this Ember or uh, just in. Earth Spirit. Yeah, he sure is. He has a lot of support inbound too. They'll find the Shaker off to the side. And now Limp is so tanky, he can just entertain this back line while the rest of his team tries to bring down Crit. They will. Supreme finds the kill on FNG. A one for one so far as Ricky tries to make it out. TP, not gonna happen. Soulbind, no follow up there. BKB TP from Supreme. It's a full retreat. And ends up being a one for two. They lose their position one again. Now back down to the 2% uh, win rate for uh, NIP, as predicted by Dota Plus. There is a BKB on Magnus. And he'll just TP without using the BKB. Bane was there anyway with... Oh, Fiend's Grip was on cooldown. Now he's going to be forced to use the BKB. No skewer, and Fiend's Grip has cooled down. Oh, Supreme. That's a, that's a big-time bummer there. Yeah. I, I get it, though. I get it, too. It's like you don't want to be greedy. But it's one of those you died anyway. You used your BKB anyway. Play it safe. Now they get Grimstroke, and no buyback on the Magnus either. So, a lot of pressure coming from this point. He's got buyback now. Okay, there it is. Into it. 10 second DKB. So even if they dunk him, dare I say, so what? That one's from Ricky. He gets disarmed right away. There's the dunk. He gets silenced. No follow-up RP, Magnus holding the buyback. Crit will use his though, Nico Baby moving in. Now all the buybacks come from NIP. They will get Han skin. No RP yet though, good Yules. Supreme struggling to get on a target. On the back line, Charlie trying to jump on the Veno but just doesn't have the damage. And now Supreme might die back, has to BKB, RP's solo limp. They turn this kill, it could be huge. Limp getting very low. Slark coming in. Limp does go down. They're also gonna get the Slark's Aegis. 
Yeah, I think oh. Nico Baby just needed to die before. He tried to reset, but they had too much vision, so he never got his HP back. Yeah, he's got spider legs. Maybe he can get out. Kills the embrace. Alliance looking for a retreat, but now Prophet's here. Ricky as well. Doing this? They might get S4. Radiance middle barracks are You're in back up and they will. Oh, another one of these moments where it is advantageous for Alliance, but very messy. Uh, three buybacks used, four buybacks used, so a costly hold for NIP, but they do stay in the game. Use the RP and try to live, and uh, I underestimated his survivability, or overestimated it, rather. Crit, he's going to be the target of choice. Fiend's grip, that'll lock him down. Now NIP, they might be in too deep. BKB, TP from Saberlight. He makes it out, but Era not going to be so lucky. Charlie with a regular TP, but they don't have the detection. Instead, they're focused on Supreme. There's his BKB. They've already used the Fiend's Grip, so no interrupt. With the Ricky. You can do something, but you're going to need the Grimstroke first. Up the high ground we go. No oh, buybacks go. on the two dead well, heroes. A good skewer. Does not RP at this time, and instead Saberlight getting dove. He'll be brought down. No buyback. Stuck in the grave. 77. Yeah, he saw the HP from the Bloodstone. I was like, yeah, that's not worth it. I like that with the Gale. But he sends it off. He doesn't want it. He knows it's wow. too good on Timber. Oh, okay. Yeah, he takes the Nether Shaw instead. Well, buyback sparks for the Radiant. They don't have any. So no second chances here. Ricky Radiance and Magnus both have theirs attack. cooling down. Saberlight pops that BKB. <laughs> this repair kit putting in work right now. It is slowing down the push. There's the glyph. Saberlight in trouble though. RP comes out, does connect on two, but where's the follow-up? Crit can't get in there for the dunk. The Blink Dagger keeps getting broken. What a bash. We're gonna spread out now, but Ricky in trouble. Supreme dies. Buyback is available there, but Ricky doesn't have it. Now Grimstroke falls. He pops that buyback immediately. The dunk doesn't do much, and GG does get called. Alliance do manage to close it out. Takes them 40 minutes, but they take another convincing win. Oh, my game crashed. Well, anyway, oh, good. I guess don't have the graphs open as the game ends, maybe.